Hello, I'm Nick and this is my trusty assistant Austin and we are going to be doing the 405 tech review. Um, the first is Makey Makey. Shaky your flakies. It's not, it's just Makey Makey. And uh, basically the deal is that you can hook any sort of inanimate object, but it has to be a conductor of some sort, um, i.e. water or fruit or a guitar. What we're going to do now is we're going to play a game using this as our space bar and Austin's going to be left and right with the, with the, with the fruit there. So yeah, we're going to give it a go. See how we get on. Your space bar. Yeah. Oh, I'm fail! <laughs> right, you can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> right, here goes. God, you suck. Jeez, oh, man, it's because it's... Oh, jeez! Come on, we just have we just won a game. All right, all right, here it goes, here it goes. It's almost impossible. There yes, we here we go. We're off. And we're off. Yes, there we go. Have some of that. We're actually pro at this already because I'm pretty sure we're the pioneers of it. Easy. Oh, what? How did that even happen? Yes. Oh. <laughs> that's a game. Let's do one. So that's a game there. We're getting absolutely smashed on this game. How about that, yes. Makey Makey? Yeah. So as you can see, we're pretty much the first. We're, we're pretty much boss at this, and uh, I'd like to put the challenge out there. If anybody out there wants to wants to have a go, you know where to find us. Yeah, well, um, I thought actually, Makey Makey was 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 very good. It's very, it's a lot easier than it might suggest. Um, you literally just take these little crocodile clips. There's one at each end. You hook one up for the left button, for example, and then you hook it, hook it up to something that you want to be that left button. It really is that easy, and to be honest, uh, the world's your oyster. If it, can, if it conducts, you can, you, can, you can go for your life. So yeah, it's good. I don't know. Eight out of 10. This sort of harks back to the days, you know, when kids used to make stuff for themselves. And uh, you know, it's, it's just, it, I think it inspires people to be a bit more creative and um, you know, not just to sort of engage mindlessly with things, but to be a bit more creative with how they engage with them. So I think it could be good for kids. And Next is the Fitbit. Um, zip, <laughs> apparently. Um, it's basically a pedometer. So you can wander along and you can have this anywhere on your person and it will count three things. It will count how far you've gone, it will count how many steps it took you to get there, and apparently how many calories you've burned. And it's obviously very small, so you can put your pants if you want, on your bra. You can, you can hook it up online and see all graphs and shit, which is, let's face it, it's what everybody wants to do these days. They want to they wanna have a look on there, and then they want to tell their friends about it through Twitter and Facebook. Does the job, but probably give it, probably give that an eight, you know? As far as pedometers go, that's one of the best I've ever seen, because it is the only one I've ever seen. It's good. So it should just hook up, right? So the idea is that you've got this small jam box, and it's a, it's a Bluetooth jam box, apparently, and uh, it makes noises from, like, music. So you turn it on, or off. <laughs> I think that was on. You never know with this thing, because there's no... Right, there you go, right? So that's on. That's on now. The idea is that you can play it through your iPhone or your iTunes or whatever, and, uh, and then it'll make a noise. So, let's have a go, kids. There you go. So that was relatively painless. I should point out at this point, a little bit of unknown mortal orchestra there. I should point out that I had to, beforehand, I had to hook it up um, by going into Bluetooth settings, and pairing it and all this stuff and you have to push a button to pair it and uh, it's a bit of a faff. Um, and what, I think once it's paired it'll, it'll, you know, it will hook up quite easily but it will drop out and in all honesty I didn't find it the easiest thing to work with. It sounds quite good though. So you can kind of direct it. So yeah, so it's, you know, it's an alright Bluetooth speaker. Honestly, I think if I was going to get one, 
It's about 160 quid, I think. Um, I had a look online, and which isn't bad. Um, but I would probably buy a Bose. Can I say that? Yeah, I probably would. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive, but not much. Um, it's just the connection is issues, and uh, you know, it's okay. But to be honest, like for taking to the heath or something, or if you're going swimming, I reckon it'd be quite a nice little thing to just chuck in your bag because it is obviously battery powered. So yeah, it's all good. Probably seven out of ten. Um, <clears throat> next is the uh, planetarium. Um, now this is actually made by Sega, apparently, and is really cool. Um, basically, you feed little discs into it that look like this, and then it essentially projects 60,000 stars onto your ceiling in a darkened room. So it's, it's pretty beautiful, and it's, you know, I mean, for getting home and um, having some late beers or whatever and just... Uh, chilling out watching something like that would be something really cool to go back to um, and, it, and it is stunning I mean you can change the discs to various things but I was only given two one of them showed the Milky Way and uh, the other one kind of joined joined the dots you can change the um, the, fo the the focus here so it it's kind of you know it's, it depends on the size of the room where and how you'll have it but um, we actually completely blacked out the room, we set it up, we put on some um, some night atmos and played some really epic like, space music and we just we just lay there and I swear we lost about about half an hour just like staring up at the ceiling and looking at the Milky Way and it was it, it, it is good times and just just if even if you only do that it's worth the 150 quid price tag so yeah I'd recommend it for sure I'd, I definitely want one of these I would probably, it's the only one I've ever used, I'd definitely give it a 9 out of 10. The only thing that I would say that would be like improvable would be to have more discs or um, it like it, it can be a little bit blurry if you, if you like if you're going to be really picky but um, I think it's pretty good so I'd give it a 9. So this is the OP1. Um, I've been told and have since learned that it was made famous by the Swedish House Mafia. It's very weighty, <laughs> it pretty much does anything that you can imagine to, like in terms of synthesized sound. You can take any song or any like sound and just like chop bits of it and come in from different angles and take off the high and, and sample it and you can just use it as a drum machine, you can just do absolutely anything with it that you like and the graphics are really cool. I mean we've got it hooked up to the jam box here and it, and it sounds it sounds really good. So yeah, so line out and and you're away really. Um, you hook it up to your to your to your Mac or your computer with a USB stick. Um, I, it doesn't have to be hooked up to anything like it's got its own little speaker which is pretty pants to be honest but you know it's small and it's compact and you don't need anything more than that, I think, just if you're just going to take it to the to the park or whatever and mess around with it. <laughs> How did you stop that? And it's got a four-track tape recorder in it yeah. as well. So I think once you work it out, this is a really like in-depth, complex instrument. It is, yeah. And it it's is. small and portable. So if you've got your MacBook and you mm. want to, and you were you know, sat on a plane somewhere, yeah. I'm thinking somebody from my perspective who works in a studio and, you know, somebody who might might want to create music, then if you've got your laptop and you've got this, I think this this is a, it is an instrument rather than a toy. Yeah. But you just got to work it out. Obviously we it don't is, know yeah. how to use it. Yeah. Oh yeah, there this one was cool. Whale song. Yeah. Probably completely doing this product a disservice. All the all the so. functions are color coded on here to match with the blue, green, white, and orange kind of dials here. Mm. So whatever you're navigating around, say I don't know, just for instance this. Um, I think this is meant to be like the the volume of the different sounds. So I think if you've layered like drums, bass, and whatever, then you've got different 
different volumes on each one. Just for example, so they're all kind of color coded, and, what, and that's quite I quite like. That makes it very tactile when you. Yeah, and there's also like, there's also these little guys that turn up quite often. <laughs> Don't really yeah. know how to summon them. And if you, uh, if you sort of push a button, you can see that they sort of move their little hands. There's also a little monkey somewhere, but I haven't I haven't seen him in about two weeks. But yeah, it, the bat battery life is exceptional. It lasts forever. Um, but you obviously can hook it up to the mains. It's great. It's great. Like I say, if you if you've got a spare six hundred quid lying around and you like making beats in your in your in your own home, go and buy one because it it's fucking amazing. It's a, it's a great laugh. But you know. If if you've just got Logic or something on your PC and lots of plugins or on your Mac, sorry, um, yeah, then it probably does the same job. But it's rocking. I'd give it probably a, a nine out of ten. Yeah. So I guess uh, there's nothing left to uh, review. Oh, apart from this little watch here, um, it's Mr. Jones design apparently. Um, but the idea is that it's a limited edition. Everything he does is limited edition apparently, this guy, and uh, he's quite a young watchmaker and he only sources the best materials for his watches. And this was kindly sent to the 405. Um, it's an anniversary watch, he only he makes them to order, so you send them, you send the, uh, the request to and you give him the date. And actually written on here is April the 28th on the hands, which is the 405's birthday, which is nice. Um, which leads me probably into my conclusion, the favourite review gadget this week would have to be the OP1, it's boss, it's fun, it's expensive, and I think every young music maker should have one. Um, see you another time probably.